Hey guys, welcome back. It's Chimney Swift here from the Minecraft Workbench community. And this is episode 21 of the Minecraft Files. And today I am taking requests from Mr. I Love Dr. Pepper. And we're going to be working on the, def the defenses system of this small Pueblo village that I've created. So I did a lot of work offline, um, actually. And, oh, I got a new skin. Uh, and this skin was made for me from uh, by... Didara Pones uh, 222 and he messaged me on the forums in uh, at minecraftwb.com and I requested that he made me a skin um, the Michael Weston skin Michael Weston is a character from a TV show called Burn Notice and so he made this awesome skin for me so I just wanted to thank him now I did a lot of work off um, while I wasn't recording and I got a bunch of cool stuff uh, mining. So I got a lot of lapis, and I got some uh, mushrooms. Um, I got a lot of redstone. So we'll be doing a, a, a redstone tutorial soon. And today what we're going to do... Oh, I got a lot of iron too, and some gold. But today what we're going to do is we're going to use dispensers to set up a defense perimeter uh, around this house. So, first thing I'm going to do, because I have it available here, is I'm going to make a uh, clock. Now, to make a clock, you need gold and redstone. And you need a clock is four gold ingots and one uh, redstone dust. And to craft this clock, and what a clock does, uh, you, to craft it first, you take one gold ingot in every middle outer um, side of this box. And you put one redstone in the middle, and you have a clock. So, what the clock does is you can put it in your hand. Um, right clicking with it doesn't do anything. I'm clicking right now, it's not doing anything. Left clicking doesn't do anything. You can break blocks with it. Um, but the whole purpose of it is it shows you the time of day. So right now on the clock, uh, there's a little yellow icon, and that should move short shortly. I see it just moved. And what that means is that's the sun, and that's the sun that's the sun's position in the sky and as it moves it rotates around so below the sun you can see a black line down there and that's the night time so that's below it that's below which means the, the the night is not here you see the blue and you see the yellow that's the daytime now when the sun is directly above us the sun will be a square and that means it's noon so this tells time um, I find it very useful especially when I'm mining underground because um, when you're mining underground and you have the ability to check and see what time it is, you know when it's safe to come to the surface. So that's a, um, a useful, a very useful tool. Okay, so we're going to craft some dispensers. And for that, I need redstone. Um, I need string. I need sticks. And I think I have some more string over in the other building. We're going to need some arrows, too. Use the back door now. Awesome. I have some more string. Um, what else do I need? Maybe some feathers. Okay, cool. This should be good. Now, dispensers were added in the last update, and they use. They're similar to crafting a furnace but slightly different so what we first need to do is we need to make some bows so we're going to make I'm gonna make two bows I guess I could make three okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to take cobblestone and you're going to make a pattern like this so it's going to be like pants basically it's the same pattern as pants 
and then you take a bow and you put it on the bottom and in one piece of redstone oh no you switch these there so the bow is in the middle and the redstone is in the bottom and this gives you a dispenser so we're gonna go oh no you can't stack those so I do it one at a time so let's make two more All right, so now I have three dispensers. And I'm using a custom painterly pack that I modified, uh, so these dispensers will look a little bit different than yours. Okay, let's set up a dispenser cannon right here. Now, the thing about dispensers is they are only activated by power so redstone um, redstone activates them or a lever activates them so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna we'll test this out here and I'll show you um, I just crafted a lever here and we're gonna lay down some redstone some redstone wire and let's put uh, Let's put a dispenser inside a dispenser. Let's see what happens. So dispensers will dispense anything that's placed in them. Now, if there are arrows in them, they will they will shoot arrows. Um, they will violently shoot arrows. If there's uh, just an object in them, it'll just spit it out. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna act, flip the switch, and that pooped out a little little dispenser here. Let me let me move this so you guys can see. Let's try this again. We'll put uh, we'll put redstone in here. We'll just we'll just mess around and put some redstone dust in here. All right. So if we flip the switch, a little piece of redstone flies out. See that? Okay. Now I'm gonna craft some arrows here, and I'm going to also craft a. Uh, We're gonna make some pressure plates. So, to craft arrows, you need flint, you need uh, sticks, and you need feathers. I have all three right here. You put flint on the top, feathers on the bottom, and sticks in the middle. And should have quite a bit of. All right, so I've got a stack of sixty-four arrows. Now, this is the really cool part. So if I put arrows in here, put five arrows in there, watch this. If you flip the switch, it shoots arrows out. Now, the negative thing about this is that you can't collect these arrows after they've been shot. And that's kind of a bummer. So you, you lose the arrows. Now, the good thing, though, is that it provides for the ability, it, it allows for the ability to make a really cool defense system. And that's what we're going to do today. So, let's see here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to wire a, this redstone. I don't want it to, to be activated by the door, or activate the door, so I'm going to keep it away from the door. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to grab our smooth stone, and we're going to make some pressure plates. And we're going to place them here. Now, if I step on the plate, it should activate the dispenser. So I just placed some stone slabs in there, and if I step on there, it should poop out some stone slabs. Now we're going to test out the... Um, here, let's move this back a little bit. I'm going to move this. Now I didn't want to do this right in front of the door because 
if you do that, um, then when the mobs come, it'll activate the door, the doors will open. So that kind of defeats the purpose. But we're going to place some arrows in here. So eight arrows. And when I walk across this, if I'm a mob and I'm walking up to the door, and you guys can do this in any design or pattern that you want. Oops. Oh. See, I got shot. Oh, I think I'm on peaceful. That's weird. Let's turn that on. Alright. Oh. So I get shot with an arrow. So we'll put like 31 arrows in there. And let's make another trap over here with some arrows. I should get some more redstone. So this is a good way to set up a, a defense perimeter. Alright, we're, we're getting running low on time here, so I'm going to make this really quick. You can place these all over your complex. <coughs> yep, that one works. Alright guys, well this is it for episode 21 of the Minecraft Files. Um, stay tuned for episode 22 coming up soon, and I will also be announcing the contest winners very soon as well. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.